Now, in a situation in which you do want your computer to be able to go to sleep, but still kind of function as a NAS, there's actually a group policy thing that we can change. Do note that you are probably going to need to somehow ping the server to kind of wake it back up, but doing this does make the network card active, so if it sees something going on, it's going to wake up your computer. And to do this, I'm gonna go ahead and close out settings. We're gonna to go to a little more of a old school application. This is going to be the group policy editor from the control panel. So let's go ahead and open this up. From there, under computer configuration, we're gonna to want to go to administrative templates. And then in there, we're gonna to want to head over to system. And then we're gonna to want to go ahead and scroll down to our power management folder here. And then under sleep settings, there's gonna be something we want to change. Make this a little bit bigger so I can see what is going on here. And then we have this option right here, allow network connectivity during connected standby. Give that a double click. And then from here, we're gonna to want to just click enabled. And you can see if you enable this policy setting, network connectivity will be maintained in standby. And we're just gonna go ahead and hit apply and then okay. And now from there, we are gonna go over to our device manager and make sure that a certain packet is enabled on our network card. So if we go over here, let's minimize that and go under network adapters. We have our controller here, we have two of them. I'm gonna do it for both of them because I'm not sure which one my internet's plugged into. But right click that, go over to properties, and then here under advanced, it is going to be the wake on magic packet. We can see that's currently enabled, which is good. And then from there, we're gonna go over to our power management tab here and allow this device to wake the computer, as well as only allow a magic packet to wake the computer. We're gonna hit okay. Now real quick, we're gonna reboot the system. One, to enable that policy. Two, to change the host name. And three, to check our bios here real quick. All bios look a little bit different, but you're gonna to wanna to look for an option like this that says wake on LAN. Make sure your cards are enabled here. And here, if you want to, you can enable S5 via RTC if you want it to turn on automatically at a certain time. But for now, I'm gonna keep that disabled. And one thing with Wake on LAN, I'm pretty sure Fastboot is not supported, so you're gonna want to uh, make sure and leave that off. I could be wrong, <laughs> somebody will correct me in the comments, but from there I'm gonna save changes and exit. And now we are going to log in here real quick. It may ask you to change your password if you used the Rufus method. And now to test this, I went ahead and set the sleep settings, so that way it will fall asleep after one minute. So I'm gonna wait that minute for the device to shut down. And once it does shut down, we'll see here if it fires up when I connect to the network tab, which that tab kind of pings out to everything to see what is accessible on your network. And that search to see that should be enough that it fires it up with Wake on LAN. And if it does work for network discovery, it should work for other services such as Docker containers and things like that. And I just saw the fans kick off. There's no lights or anything. So if we head over to network tab, it's firing up and then it should pop up after it uh, wakes up. And there it is. We have WinNAS.